Hello, in this lesson, I'll teach you how to create a simple animation. It's to help you understand the animation tools of the Procreate app. I have to say, I'm not an expert with animation. I don't often use it. So for this lesson, it'll just be an introduction to lesson. I'm sure there are animation courses that offer more in-depth insight. The animation tool is under the Canvas tab here. Go to Actions, Wrench icon, choose Canvas, and then choose Animation Assist. Once you tap it, you'll see a toolbar below. I'll write the word animation by adding one letter per frame. Once you finish writing the first letter, click Add Frame. Now that the new frame is here, I'll continue with writing the letter N. Then, repeat the same steps until you complete all the letters you need. You'll notice that the bar below is like a timeline. In one frame, we can put whatever we want to happen in a single frame. It's not necessary that it has to be only one letter or picture. You can design as you like of what are the things you want in a single frame. After you're done with all the letters, try clicking play. Your letters are moving now. You did it! There's the settings here. The first one is frame per second. The higher you adjust it, the faster the picture moves. The lower you adjust it, the slower the picture moves. Both onion skin options are for adjusting the opacity of other frames. Other frames appear lightly in the assist animation mode. It is to guide you on what will happen next. But if you exit this mode, you won't see it. The Blend Primary Frame allows you to see the previous frame. As for Color Secondary Frames, it allows you to see other frames that have different colors, so you won't get confused when you paint a lot of similar looking frames. The three buttons below allows us to choose the style that we want the animation to be played. If you choose Once Shot, the animation will be played only once. If you choose Loop, the animation will continue playing from the beginning repeatedly. As for the ping pong, the animation will be played back and forth. That's all the basics of using the animation tools, which are very easy to use. You'll notice that the letters appear one by one in the sample that I made. If you want the letters to appear one by one and stay as they are, I'll show you how. First of all, I'll delete all the letters except the letter A. After that, I'll duplicate the letter A layer. Now, if you look at the animation assist bar, you'll see that once we have an additional layer, we'll have an additional frame too. Now that you got the second frame, write an N there. After that, repeat the same steps. Duplicate the layer and write down the next letter. Keep going until you complete all the letters. When you're done, try clicking play. You'll see that all the letters are here and they don't disappear from the screen. Adjust the settings as you like. See, it's not difficult at all. It's another technique that you can use. You can paint more if you want. Let's continue. We'll take a look at how to share an animation file. Go to Actions and choose Share. You'll see many file types to choose from. For the animation, it's the last three options here. We'll save the file as a GIF file. You'll see options to choose from again. I don't usually mess with them. The interesting part is the web ready here that will adjust the file size to suit website use. Once you're happy with it, click export to exit. Then share the file to the location that you want. As for me, I'll choose save image to save the file in the photo album. A GIF file is an image file that moves. 
When we're on Facebook and we see moving images, those are GIF files. The next one is saving the animation as a PNG file, which I don't recommend because it's not practical. I don't know why the app added this option, or maybe I didn't use it correctly. If you want to save a moving image, I recommend you save it in a form of a GIF. See that? When it's on the photo album page, the image doesn't move. It's better to use GIF. Now we've reached the last one, which is saving the file as an MP4 file. This one is a video file. It works like a video file. I'll choose Save Video, and I'll check from the photo album. The file will be opened as a video file, which means it moves, but we have to click play to play the video. In addition, we can share every frame of our animation by clicking save as PNG files. You'll notice that the amount of layers is provided as well. Click share to exit, and let's check from the photo album. You'll see that all the frames we created are here. That's all the techniques for using the animation tools. I want you to keep practicing. You can make a better animation than the one I showed you. For the next lesson, we'll be learning about the Edit Drawing Guide tool.